Dives is Packback's writing assessment tool, perfect for any writing assignment that has a rubric. Essays, research papers, even short reflections. As part of Deep Dives, students will have a writing tutor that gives them rubric-specific feedback on the mechanics portions of their rubric. They'll also have a research assistant, which will guide them through citing their sources in the appropriate style, depending on the style their instructor chose when they created the assignment, and even give them feedback on the credibility of their sources. On the instructor side of things, Packback's goal is to make writing assignments take less time to grade. To accomplish that, Packback's grading assistant will suggest scores for the mechanics categories of the rubric with specific insights, so you can spend more time reading for content and less time reading for mechanics. Let's start with how to create an assignment on Deep Dives. When I navigate to Deep Dives using either this link at the top of my homepage or the sidebar, I'll be able to see all of the writing prompts that I've created as an instructor. Just like in the discussion, let's click Manage Assignments at the top here to add a new writing prompt. All of your prompts and rubrics can be saved for the future. So you just need to create something once, and then you can use those assignments or rubrics anytime you'd like. The first time you're creating an assignment, start by clicking Create New Prompt. Here you can enter the title of your assignment. Let's call this one our research paper. You'll also add a short description of the assignment. And the long description is where the body of the writing prompt will go. Specific content criteria you want your students to address. Instructors can add guiding questions here as well. These are content specific questions you want to make sure your students address somewhere in their writing. While the students write, they'll be reminded to address those questions throughout. And when it's time to grade their work, the grading assistant will highlight for instructors where the student attempted to address those questions directly in that student's writing. Instructors can also add any resources to the prompt here that they'd like students to engage with as part of this assignment. If you'd like to save this prompt for the future, make sure this box is checked at the bottom. Once I've set up my prompt, the next step is to create a rubric. The first time instructors are setting up a rubric, you'll click this button to create a new one. Once it's created, it will remain in the rubric library and can be selected from the list of saved rubrics in the future. The first time a rubric is being set up, make sure to give it a title. As an example, let's say I know I'm going to use this rubric for all of my research projects, so I'll name it accordingly. The top five components of the rubric are the mechanics components Packback will assist students with and also help instructors by providing suggestions when it's time to grade. These categories are fully flexible. As an example, let's say I want to make sure my students write at least 500 words, but not more than 1,000. I'll adjust that range here. I can also block their submission if they're outside of that range which means if they try to submit something to me that's 490 words, they'll just receive a pop-up that notifies them they need to meet the word count requirement before they're able to submit. I could also mark this category worth zero points if I don't need it to be part of the grade. That will ensure they meet the word count before they submit, and I don't need a point value to be associated with that component in this assignment. Since there is a research component to this example assignment, I'll make sure to include at least three sources so I can make sure my students cite that many at minimum. And I'll make sure those sources are cited in APA style. If there isn't a research component, you can choose not to include these categories. Since the primary goal of this assignment is the research itself, I'm going to choose not to include grammar and mechanics as part of the grade. Students will still receive feedback on grammar and mechanics, even if it's not included on the rubric. Feedback will happen in every category, regardless of whether it is included in the grading of the assignment. Underneath each of the AI-assisted categories on the rubric, 
you'll notice the components that are being assessed in that category so you can make an informed decision about what should be included for a grade. Once instructors have adjusted the mechanics categories, you'll enter your content criteria here at the bottom. This is very flexible. Each criterion can have up to eight performance categories. They can be named whatever you'd like, and you can add multiple criteria if you need to. If you can dream it, or it exists as a standardized rubric, you can build it in deep dives. Once you're satisfied with the rubric, make sure to check the box to save this rubric for the future, and you're almost ready to post this assignment. All that's left to do is to make sure it's being assigned to the correct class, add the start date and the due date, and determine whether students will be allowed to submit after the deadline. Just like in Pack Back Questions assignments, I can add individual student extensions for my deep dives assignments if I need to. When I'm ready, I'll click Publish Assignment. In the next section, we'll take a look at what students will see when they're completing an assignment on deep dives. When a student clicks their deep dives assignment, they'll be taken directly to the prompt page, which will look like this. Here, they'll see the prompt title at the top and the description of their writing assignment the long description their instructor added with those specific content criteria. They'll also see any guiding questions they need to answer in their submission, as well as recommended resources for them to engage with. Students can also see the full rubric with the mechanics and the content criteria fully visible to them. They will not see the Submissions tab or the Feedback tab. Those tabs are only available to instructors. When students are working on their Deep Dives assignment, they'll see their writing on the left-hand side and all of their feedback on the right, just like in their discussion assignments. The difference is it's now rubric-specific because this is a summative assignment. Just like in our discussion assignments, my feedback will update in real time as I make adjustments. Let's take a look at the flow and structure category. As a student, they might see some feedback that their paragraphs are too short, like this feedback here. Instead of counting each of their sentences, they can just go ahead and highlight the paragraphs that are causing that feedback and make adjustments directly. Anything in the student feedback that shows the glasses icon next to it will highlight the feedback directly within their work. If there is a research component to an assignment, students also have access to this research assistant as they're doing their work. The Research Notes tab provides students a place to leave quotes, sources, anything they'd like to keep track of. If students have a source they'd like to include on their work site or references page, they just need to highlight that source right-click and mark that as a source. When a source is marked, two things will happen for students. The first thing they'll see is credibility feedback on the right-hand side, which will tell me how credible my new source is. If students click that credibility feedback, they'll see more context about why it was flagged that way. The second thing that will happen when students mark a source is that source will be cited for them in their works cited or references page in whatever style my instructor chose when they created the assignment. Here they'll see their new citation and any missing information will be highlighted in red so they know to adjust that before they submit their final paper. The goal of deep dives is to give students all their grammar and mechanics feedback before they even submit to instructors. So the final product that comes across your desk will be easier to grade and free of those mechanics errors as much as possible. In the next section, we'll cover how to grade one of your student's submissions on deep dives. As an instructor, you can click into one of the writing prompts you're ready to grade. And as long as the deadline has passed, you'll be able to start grading. 
Once you start grading a submission, the student will no longer be able to edit that submission. To start grading, click the Submissions tab, where you'll see all students' work, when they submitted their assignment, and can click Grade. Here, you'll see the student's work on the left-hand side and the grading assistant on the right. At the top, the grading assistant will show some high-level information, like whose paper I'm grading and whether they met the word count and citation requirements that were asked of them. Below that, you'll see Packback's recommended scores for the mechanics categories on the rubric. These are just suggestions. Instructors are able to adjust those scores and what really speeds up the grading is that you can see why those scores were recommended in the first place. As an example, looking at flow and structure, Packback is not recommending full points. So I'll click see why to get some insight. Here, you'll see a breakdown of all the components that are being assessed in this category, how they are weighted in Packback's logic, and how the student performed. If a student receives a full point, they address their feedback in that component, and there weren't any major mistakes left unaddressed. If it's lower than a full point, there was some feedback the student did not address before submitting their work, and that is affecting their suggested score. In this example, it looks like paragraph length was a stumbling block for the student. Just like in the student view, instructors can highlight those short paragraphs and take a look. Then, if you'd like to leave them a comment, you can just highlight the piece you'd like to comment on and add a comment to remind them. This saves a great deal of time because you know your students saw that feedback before they even submitted to you. So you can just briefly remind them without including a great deal of context and move on. Once you've taken a look at those mechanic scores and adjusted them to your liking, you'll leave your content scores for them down here underneath the mechanic scores as well as any content comments and overall feedback. At the top of the Grading Assistant, there are additional AI grading tools. Here, you'll see any alerts such as grammar issues that weren't addressed and any risks of plagiarism or AI-generated writing like ChatGPT. Smart Highlights will show the guiding questions, which are the content-specific questions students were asked to address somewhere in their writing. Packback will take a moment to determine whether students attempted to address those questions, and if you click a question as an instructor, it will highlight for you where the student attempted to answer that question. And you can make the determination around whether they answered that question to your satisfaction. Lastly, in these grading assistant tools is the originality report. The originality report will show an in-depth look at any plagiarism or AI-generated writing that was found. As an example, if a student plagiarized at 90% of this paper, that would show up in the originality report as 10% original text. Packback would then show a side-by-side -side comparison of the student work and the work that was found matching it on the web. Packback will also highlight for you if the student added, deleted, or replaced anything from that source to try to make it look a little different. When you're ready to finalize the grade, there are two options at the bottom here. Submit and hide will not show the student their grade. If you prefer to grade the whole class and then post all the grades when they're finished, choose that option. Submit and release will notify the student of their grade right away. In the next section, we'll cover high-level engagement tools and dashboards to help you work efficiently on Packback.